hello everyone there is another video for you in this video we have uh, Lenovo ThinkPad TE470 uh, TFT enable okay so what we would do today we would see what is the basic problems when you try to change the boot option all right and how you can change the boot option to customize the windows or to reinstall the windows or to make other changes in the BIOS settings okay so let's dig into it and see what is the primary problem and how come we can overcome it all right so now I'm going to turn on one second start all right so now if you focus into this okay this is Lenovo T470 ThinkPad let's say we want to install the windows okay so you know the basic procedure what normally happen we plug in our windows uh, and uh, bootable disk and we turn it on and for ThinkPad we're gonna keep pressing enter to interrupt the normal boot okay now it asking press F tool to choose a temporary startup device. Let's see what happened. Okay, it's entering to the boot menu. As you can see, there are a couple of options here. One of them is Windows Boot Manager, which is the current Windows, and second one is the SSD, which is uh, you know inside the solid state drive, and the third one is USB HDD, which is the Philips USB flash drive which is already I in I mean I connected to the USB so now normally what happened I received a lot of text messages regarding that when they try to select it when they try to select it and press enter it comes keep coming back to the same place so let's see what happened normally it should restart and it should start the installation process but it doesn't so let's see what happens see straight away it keeps come back to the same page all right so we'll find out what is the reason why it doesn't allow okay so now what are you going to do we're going to turn it off and get into bios first to see the uh, current settings and we'll try to find out where is the problem is all right so let's press and hold to turn it off By the way, this is one of the successful models for Lenovo ThinkPad. And this is uh, the screen is touch enabled, which is great. Okay, so it's turned off. Now I'm going to turn it on again and do the same procedure. Keep pressing enter to interrupt the normal boot. Okay. And now I'm going to press F1. Oh, sorry. F1 to enter the BIOS. Okay, so I'm going to press F1. It's entering to the BIOS settings. So from here we have main nothing to do with that we're going to go to straight to the configuration we'll see the usb how does it react keep press enter okay so this one says this one says the usb uefi boot support is enabled what is nothing wrong it's absolutely fine so we're going to press escape so this is absolutely fine let's go to date and time this is also okay leave it now there is the security and the startup so we're going to jump into startup and see what is it okay as you can see here it says boot let's and the second one third one says uefi legacy boot which one so this one says only uefi only and that's the problem that is the reason why even if you select the temporary uh, boot enable USB thumb drive to boot it it doesn't okay the reason is EUFI only so we must need to change it okay so let's see if you can jump into it as you can see it just get skipped okay it doesn't allow us to do that you know what's the reason is there is only one reason because secure boot is on so we must need to turn it off okay so due to change EUFI only to legacy mode we must need to turn off the secure boot okay so where you can find the secure boot if you go back to security and then if you go down to the secure boot and if you press enter here we go 
as you can see here it says enable so what are you going to do we're going to make it disable how we're going to press enter and go to disable hit enter again all right now press one time in escape which is that one now if you go back to the startup you can see now they gives you option they allow you to change it so hit enter again and choose legacy only and now press f10 to save these settings and then try to boot it up from the usb okay so you're going to press f10 say yes again yeah, we need to keep pressing okay now we're going to press f tool now we're going to enter into the boot menu let's see what happened all right so as you can see here now still the same option so we're going to see we're going to get into Philips and see if it does work so let's go down and hit enter all right there we go see it does working now as you can see the light is flashing so that's when it's running it is working and we can see the windows 10 logo in here so it does mean this time the usb is running by the laptop okay so we're gonna wait for a couple of seconds just to see what happened next all right here we go all right so now everybody knows guys how to do that you know it's very simple and standard i'm not gonna get into it um that's how we change the boot option from EDFI to legacy mode due to reinstall your system for Lenovo T470 ThinkPad. I hope you do like this video. If you have any question, if you have any question regarding this model, um, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel. In that way, you can have more future videos. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now. Thank you.